Shiba Inu, frankly, needs a test. It needs a test to see whether we are, in fact, stuck in this range, stuck in this sideways trading, or if we can move up with the broader crypto market. Now, the great news is that in just a few days here, actually four days, in fact, we are going to be getting something that will move the market one way or the other. What I'm talking about is the CPI data report. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, what this is is a gauge of inflation. It lets us know what the costs of, of goods and services are doing over, um, I mean, essentially over a month period, but it also gives us a rolling 12 month. We're gonna be able to see whether things are in fact coming down in prices, whether we're flat or whether we are still headed the wrong direction, moving to the upside. Now, the great news is that in the past, this market, uh, this report, has affected the broader crypto market and the price of Shiba Inu. All assets, they, they pay attention to this because, again, it's a very good gauge of what's going on in the economy. Now, if we do get some positive news, if we get inflation coming down, if we see the numbers that we need to see and the market starts to move to the upside, this is where you would hope that Shiba Inu could break this sideways trading that we're stuck in, this consolidation, and start to see some higher numbers again. And I, honestly, I think we could. I think we're going to get actually a very good CPI report this time. Now, here's the other thing. The immediate day following this is the conclusion of the FOMC meeting. The FOMC meeting is when they're deciding whether they're going to continue to raise interest rates or whether they're liking what they're seeing in the economy and they're going to leave things flat. We know they're not going to be doing any interest rate declines. Okay, that's not happening likely anytime this year, probably not till next year, maybe even the following year. We'll obviously have to wait and see how the economy looks. But what we're going to see is likely a pause on interest rate hikes. Right now, it's actually at a 78.2% probability. You can see historically how this is, is changed throughout the last month here. Okay, it's it's been all over the place. Okay, recently now, obviously, we've been had a higher likelihood of a pause. The reason why we will likely see a pause is they probably need more time to digest this CPI report. They need to see whether, in fact, the cost of goods and services are, in fact, coming down. They need time to see whether what they've been putting out there into the economy is, in fact, playing uh, an impact. If it's making an impact on spending and, and wages and all this sorts of stuff, obviously, the jobs report we received earlier this month was kind of, again, a mixed bag. You know, there, there's been a lot of mixed bags lately, if you guys haven't noticed. There's a lot of uh, a lot of uncertainty. It's why you haven't seen BTC go on a run. It's kind of been stuck forever in this, this 27K range, even right now, even with the FUD from the SEC. Yes, we pulled back to 25, but then we jumped right back up into this range that we've been stuck in. Look at this. This is the one-month chart on BTC. You would almost think it's a stable coin that's lost its its peg a couple times, right? <laughs> that's that's essentially where we're at in the market right now. That's kind of where we're at for Shiba Inu too. If you guys have looked at the price of Shiba Inu, if we did not go through this this big drop on the FOMC or FOMC on the SEC news, look at this. The price of Shib essentially did the same thing, sideways, boring. There's just frankly not a lot going on in the market. There's not a lot of indicators right now that have pushed us one way or the other, apart from this SEC stuff. So again, in four days, we have this big thing happening, this CPI report, this FOMC meeting, and that finally should give us some direction, all right? We've waited on these reports in the past. They've typically moved us one way or the other, and we truly have an opportunity to start seeing some gains again. But we'll have to wait and see. We're going to get this test, and I hope that she, me, and you can pass it. But I appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Show your support below. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Take care.